Well, oh, come on to the Master Liang show. Let's go, let's go. So today starting a bit earlier lah. So today the main topic is on the five tiger general. <laughs> oh, so Singapore reads ah. Today is the read special, but I also cover a bit on the China news. So let me update you on on the China market first. Of course, I think everyone is very concerned about the CPI data coming in from China. So I think Monday the Hong Kong market is expected to be green color. Maybe a a two percent rally. Maybe I think the CPI number theoretically looks good lah. But I I'll tell you the details. So for the month of February, or the CPI in China increased by zero point seven percent. This is a super bit. Ah, it's a super bit because analyst was estimating zero point three percent gain. So uh, this is way above analyst. This is positive. Because previously we saw China entering into deflation, so the headline news will be out of deflation, or uh, then the market might might rally a bit uh, uh, to tomorrow hopefully, or uh, but I don't think it will be a strong green ah uh, maybe just a, a small green, or uh, but better than crashing. So I still believe the worst is over for China, just whether it's a fast or a slow recovery I I do not know. So looking at the the details right, analysts are saying that. Why the February CPI so strong, up zero point seven percent, is because of the rising demand of the Chinese New Year, or that's causing this huge increase in the February CPI. So going uh, and mostly the food prices went up three point three percent. Like the prices of pork is the biggest component in their food index. So Chinese New Year people consume a lot of those traditional Chinese dishes、uh, that use a lot of pork. So pork prices、uh, rebound. So so th that is one the lifting the food prices. So analysts also say that consumer inflation could be positive in the coming months due to a low base last year. So it means that short term we are out of the deflation. But ah、uh, basically lah the general gist is that we have a strong rebound. Because even me myself I thought the first quarter ah、uh, we will still be in deflation. Then maybe second quarter. Stabilize. Then the second half. Then we got get out of deflation. So I did not、uh, expect that deflation was defeated so quickly. So this unexpected. So we look at the the chart lah、uh, to to see the details. So we look at the right side here. First month and second month. So we see this February right blue color is 同比同比 is year over year. Year over year you see that February is up 0.7 percent, but. In January, it was super crash of negative zero point eight, super deflation. So why the the numbers swing so wildly? It's because of the Chinese New Year effect. One year ago, in two zero two three, the Chinese New Year was in January. So the January base for two zero two three was a high base. That's why two zero two four January without Chinese New Year is is a huge drop. Of course, there's no Chinese New Year in in January, so it's a bit weird. Whereas in Fe February, right or There was no Chinese New Year last year. That's why, as compared to this year with Chinese New Year, the numbers are so strong. But to be honest, right, to really measure the Chinese New Year effect, you you must take January and February CPI combined together and measure year over year. If we do that, right, it's actually flat. It's actually flat. Yeah, to be honest, so it's actually uh the results is not really as good as what what we really think. But because the market is more emotion heavy driven, so tomorrow the market might be green. But fundamentally, there isn't say a huge improvement. It's actually the same. It's actually the same. Or because you just add the both together and you average out, it's actually same. But it means it also means that there wasn't a deflation. It's it's actually flat for January February. So the、well, big question is what is the outlook ahead? So how will this、uh, CPI play out for March and un until June? For the first half of this year, the analysts think that the deflation will be gone. It will be a positive. Why? So we look at the Huan Bi. Huan Bi means month over month. We look back at two zero two three one year ago. The first few years are、uh, every month right is a decline. You see, every month is negative zero point three, negative zero point one negative. So the first four months right, you look at March to to June right, every month is lower, lower, lower one.、Right? So what happened last year, right, was that in January we had a strong reopening, uh, due due to they remove all the COVID restrictions. Am I right? So January, uh, January everyone go out or、oh, celebrate. Then everyone got infected. 
then things start to the recovery start to go down or oh, it's a fake fake recovery like you see the blue color line or oh, you last year the first quarter was very strong then subsequently you, it went on a downtrend all the way then become deflation so from last year right, all the way downtrend uh, until this year and, and the last part was, was very deflationary the last four months especially so now is the reverse so last year because of this decline right it, it forms a very low base it's a low base so it's, it's easy to beat this number am i right because inflation is whether people are spending more as compared to one year ago or not so one year ago it, it was quite bad so it's a very low base so if we cannot beat this right then it's a worrisome sign la. Uh, but the big question is, beat already so what? That does it mean a strong recovery? So I think it will be the, the inflation will be a positive number, but it won't get the market excited. The C CPI inflation target is three percent, but this year the full year maybe CPI zero point five or or one percent only. Yeah, I think I think the consumer spending is coming back, but it's not as strong. Uh, I I would say uh, it is a recovery, but but it's not a a, it won't be a quick recovery. I think it, it might be a more gradual one, or based on the data I see so far. So that that's my analysis. Uh. all them every month I will continue to update you, and, and we see how it go. Yeah. So so today is a read special. Oh yeah, still got uh, one more side. So for for the PPI uh, which is the uh, uh producer price index, means the manufacturers uh, or uh when they sell. Uh, what price they are selling? How 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 profitable they are? So manufacturing, right? You can see here is going sideways really, for the past half half a year. Same thing last year was the reopening. After the reopening, everything went downhill. Or oh, it's like a false false recovery like that. Or oh, super slow down. So we can see that things have not uh uh have stabilized. I would say I have stabilized already. And I last week I showed you all the export data. Export turn positive and quite explosive, uh, uh, so I, I would say the worst should be over for manufacturing. Just that uh, one thing is that why this number is not uh, improving, because there is this like a uh, lag effect uh. As Example: Let's say I, I'm a manufacturer, then I'm exporting let's say toys. Also, uh, I, I might be exporting toys to example a US company like like Walmart. Am I right? So when I want to sell, let's say, a uh, Christmas order in in uh, in in Christmas like December, when will Walmart place the order? Usually at least half a year or, or three months in advance, man. Because it cannot be you immediately you one one week before uh one month before Christmas you order then I ship it to China. What usually you buy in advance? Am I right? Half half a year place the order so that everything it or when it comes to Christmas or your Black Friday sales. Or you get the order, am I right? So, for this manufacturing, right, especially the big orders, or it's usually like a half year or one year uh, contract. Example, I, I want to buy shoes from you. Then I, I might take a, a one year contract. Every month, you, you supply me with X number of shoes. Yeah, so so there's this lag effect. So although you are at export, your export, export has increased. Or it shows that there is demand, am I right? But but the prices are not moving up because these prices they are locked in in the old price it's the old price. But once they renew a contract, I say every half a year I sign contract with you, with this uh, uh manufacturer in China to supply me shoes. Yeah, so what the next six months when I renew, or then you tell me that oh the demand is there already. You don't give me the order, someone else is gonna give me the order for the shoes. My my factory is running at hundred percent capacity. So you want me to manufacture these shoes for you so that you can sell in your online store can but i'm raising my prices by five percent do you want to continue with me if you don't want then then i will i will give my capacity of manufacturing to another customer so they will start rising prices already am i right yeah because export data is an immediate one we know last month how much is exported but manufacturing data is also based on a contract also especially for those bulk order so my view is that it has shown that this has stabilized, so it should start moving up already. Or maybe the next month is still sideways, lah. But but the second quarter onwards, or uh, this will, will, will start trending up. This blue line, lah. Uh, so I hope you understand my explanation, yeah. So China, worst is over. No scare, no scare. Consumer spending, 
Oh, it is trending up. Manufacturing is trending up. Oh, but property, uh, it is still bad. Uh, it's still bad. But that's why we cannot go into the bull market because people are still worried about property. But one property stabilized, then I think uh, the China bull will begin. So that that's my conviction. Okay, so welcome all to the re special. Yeah, so Oleg, yeah. Hope you will discuss Baba. To we are not, not talking about Baba. I have forty over slides. Uh, I I talking about reads. Uh. Oh, Baba next week we will discuss. We, we always talk about Baba. Boring. Uh. Today is special. Uh, totally Jaden. Welcome, welcome. Mr. Tokomi, Boon, welcome, welcome. Kif Chu can buy BRKB. Uh. BRKB is expensive. Uh. I, I wouldn't recommend buying. Uh. I think it's expensive. Uh, because for BRKB, usually what we look at is the price to book. So historically, they trade at about, I think, 1.4 uh, times uh, book value. So you want to be a buyer when they are trade low, like 1.3, 1.2 times. I think historically they trade about 1.5 times uh, book value. Now it's about 1.7. Or uh, price to book, or uh, now it's 1.4. Recently dropped or what? I don't know. Oh, 1.4, 1. I think fairly priced. Uh. I, I'll say that they are fairly priced. The other time I saw the price to book is quite, uh, so I think they are, they are fairly priced. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it has come down a bit already. Previously I saw it was 1.6, 1.7 times book. So yes, the price has come down a bit, but uh, I think it's fairly priced. Usually you want to be a buyer when it's like 1.2 or 1.3 times book value for BRKB. Yeah. So, Clash 11, Sean Ho, MT Pulse, welcome, welcome. Oh, Hadi Amia. Uh, so far we are in March and movement sideways all the same last year. China market uh, it is still sideways, uh, but at least it's not crashing anymore. Yeah, so that's why you, you want to hold, be holding companies that pay you some dividend. For example, Alibaba, JD, Ping An, they all pay dividends, so get some dividends uh, while waiting. Uh. It won't be a fast recovery. Uh. Uh, this is not Tesla uh, or, or crypto or Nvidia. Uh. You expecting to double next month is impossible. Uh. That, that's why. But it, for China market, it's more like a value buy. Like you can compound your money at 20-30% over the long term because you're, you're buying at such a low valuation. That has to be your thinking. Uh. It, your expectation is so high, then you you are doomed for disappointment. If you set your expectation low and it performs better than that, oh, then that's a bonus. You must think like that. J Lo, BTC, Dominic Tio, Hua Hua La, Wallis, Chong Costa, Ani Goro. Yeah. So, Wallis, uh, backholder collab is Zit Invest. Yeah, I saw the collab. What well, Zit is, uh, what? Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet. His portfolio, four stocks only. So, I respect that his portfolio is very concentrated, shows his conviction. But I worry for him. Uh. Tesla is gone case. Uh. I think his portfolio will be underperforming uh, for this coming few years, uh, being so heavy on Tesla. Good luck to him, man. Yeah. So, uh, Aquarius, yeah. Welcome, welcome. So many update. Wow, watching from Australia. Oh, so you're interested in Sing Singapore reads also? Uh? Well, I thought... Today the viewers mostly will be from Singapore because Singapore is yeah, but you will be surprised. I think you from Asia Australia you'll notice that Singapore is ah we we invest a lot into your Australia property. So a lot of our Singapore is have Australia exposure. Later I'll share with you. Ton runner, welcome, happy Sunday all. Yeah, Cliff Chu, I quadrant, I quadrant don't ah, I quadrant ah uh, uh, I don't recommend I quadrant ah. Uh. You can learn online on YouTube for free. I quadrant is teach you to invest in UK la, or sell your HDB, buy to condo, all this. Ha. Rubbish, ha, to be honest, it's rubbish. Ha. Aiyah, don't, don't need to pay thousands of dollars for, for those costs. Ha. Be skeptic. Ha. Oh, Sarah Fita, welcome. Mom Ling, welcome. Yeah, eat dinner and relax. Oh. You're all welcome. Alvin C, Miracle. Okay, want you can buy Mei Tuan. Mei Tuan is can buy. Mei Tuan valuation wise looks cheap at two times sales. Whereas, Grab uh, and the Uber, they are like four times sales. TT is also, I think, about two times sales. So, Meituan and uh, so these are under the category called location based services uh, Uber, Meituan, TT, and, and, and Grab. So, they are actually so called growth stocks. Uh, they, are, they are high risk, higher return. Whereas, like Alibaba, JD, Baidu, they are cash rich, they are super cash cow, proven track record. So, these are value value picks. Yeah, so it's a bit di different. Yeah, so so like Mei Tuan, Grab, all these, they are still combat competing quite aggressively. Yeah. So so they are not really churning out a lot of cash. 
but uh, the growth rate is supposed to be high. Like Grab, they're expecting 14 to 17 percent revenue growth for 2024. Meituan coming results Q4 expectation is 25 percent revenue growth for for their Q4 results. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, 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 uh, I think 15 percent uh revenue growth for their Q4 results because the end of last year was very slow. But the coming 2024 first quarter is analyst is expecting 25% revenue growth it rebound due to like what I share with you all with the CPI or oh, it's a very sharp rebound so May Tuan the coming results will, will be weak but the next first quarter results will be very strong also oh, it is a bit volatile la, because it's like the consumer spending la, whether are people spending on, on, on food delivery the answer is yes la, because Chinese folks they're lazy to cook already they just order food delivery more and more they, because it's very affordable so May Tuan is a bit like Grab, la. You, you expect double digit revenue growth. Uh, so so I, I don't know what's the May Tuan guidance. So once they announce their results, I'll update you all. Then I see what's the guidance for 2024, maybe 15% re revenue growth rate for May Tuan, or maybe as high as 20%. So it's high growth tech. May Tuan is a bit uh, different. Uh, Jeff Lu, ML, can you update on ESR and UOE risk? Uh? This two is Sampan risk. Uh. I don't recommend sampan risk. They are very high risk. Uh. For for me, that the Singapore universe all got like how many? Like fifty over reads. Am I right? Fifty, sixty reads. Uh. So cannot be. I cover all of them. Uh. My focus is the Hong Kong market. But I cover the extreme to end. The sampan risk that I want your prime risk, manual life, I risk, uh, core risk. Uh, all this is sinking. Uh, crash ninety percent. Or oh, then avoid the sampan risk. If you want to, so later I'll tell you what 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 to buy, what to what to bargain hunt. Yeah, those in between I I will not cover. I will not cover. Oh, Mister yeah, Mister Lu bought Tesla. He he trapped on Tesla. He should get out of Tesla la, But but he unable to sell. He cannot break his cycle. She can have to cut loss. Tesla don't have the AI business already. It's a hardware company. So it's now trading at 50, 60 times earnings la. It can compress down to twenty times earnings. So that's a huge downside ahead. I believe Tesla will be less than one hundred dollar by year end. Yeah, Livazi, welcome, welcome. Oh, Harry C J L, good luck to him. King of C P F. Fraser Logistics, yeah, Fraser Logistics is very heavy on uh, Australia asset, but I'm not covering <laughs> Fraser Logistics. I don't like uh industrial assets. Uh, the lifespan is shorter. Richard Kwa can buy Tencent. Tencent, I'll cover their results in March twenty. Uh. but Tencent is very defensive. Tencent is basically like buying the E T F like that. Then send their whole sticks in 200 over companies. Then even listed companies uh, like SE, uh, uh, then they used to hold sticks in JD and, and Meituan. Uh, but they give out a special dividend, but they hold sticks in SE, la, Pinduoduo, la, Kuaishou, la, Bilibili, la, Neo. Uh. So Tencent is like an ETF. Uh. Then their own core business, that's gaming, social media, cloud, enterprise system. So Tencent is like an ETF, very defensive. So 12 to 13 times earnings, easy buy. Uh. But, but Tencent is not the one that you can make big return. Ah. It's basically like an ETF. Yeah, it's, but it's, you sleep well at night ho holding Tencent. Yeah, Mythic Blade, what is the Telegram link? The Telegram link, you have to be Baba Bird. Once you get the Baba Bird status, then you go to the community tab. Then you can join our tele Telegram. Because the Telegram is not mass market. Ah. If everybody join, ah, 4,000 over people, then it's very hard to chat. Ah. Now our Telegram is 200 over people. It's basically the, the Baba Bird only. So so uh they can ask me questions, then master will answer you. So it's like a bonus service uh, because most of the Baba Bird they, they are paying two dollar per, per month. Also so in the past there's there's no benefit. You only get the rocket emoji and the bird bird uh icon. So now I value add. Or uh, you you pay the two dollar per month as a supporter, then Teddy Graham can, can chit chat uh, we have the market talk uh, we have talk called sing song, there's casual and non and, and market and, and technical chat also, yeah. So 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 if you yeah so if you want to to pay the two dollar you just be patient. Sometimes when people donate the ten or twenty blah blah blah. If you win already, then you go to the community tab. Uh, just click the the link to the Telegram group. Then you can go in already. Yeah, if you want to 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 join then yeah either you win the blah 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 or, or you sign up as blah blah blah. So mate master, can you can I buy China Telecom or China Mobile? China Mobile is better la. Ch China Mobile is net cash. China Telecom and China Unicom, they, they are geared. Oh. So you check out my, my, my deep dive. You search Master Leong China Mobile. I did a deep dive on China Mobile. China Mobile is, is the better pick. 
out of the three telco. But yeah. So Keith Chu, office suite in trouble now, better to buy industrial suites. So the office suites are very bad, especially in the Angmore countries, means the, the Western region like US, Europe, UK, and also uh maybe in in Australia also. Yeah, so so but in Singapore, surprisingly, it's good. Yeah, five tiger general picture is who. Cool. So later, I'll update you always the five tiger general. Yeah, so nowadays, uh, a, a lot they 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 are, they are investing away from Tesla already. They, they invest in new Xpeng lah, Lucid lah, Rivian lah. Uh, but I think the non Tesla, non BYD is more speculative because all of them don't have a track record of profitability yet. So EV car is very hard to, to bet on. Yeah, Cash 11. China mobile is dividend play, la, like utility company, 7% no? dividend like that. There's a bit of growth for, from their car business. Ryan YouTube, give me blah, blah, blah. You, you come in often, la. every night you come, eventually you will get it. One. All our regulars, all, all they win before, blah, blah, blah. The David is our king, our super top scorer. I think he get 8 or 9 times blah, blah, blah already. You come often, you, you sure get the blah, 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 blah. You get the blah, 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 then you can get Join our Telegram group. Kepler DC Week still can buy. No? I did cover Kepler DC Week. I have at least two or three video on Kepler DC Week. Then I got share what is the is the fair value of this. Yeah, you can you can check out. Uh. Yeah. But Kepler DC Week. Uh, so so uh, in general, uh, in general, REITs is can buy one. All the blue chip REITs you can buy. I think, okay, A15 ready. Everyone is here already. So let me begin. So this, this will be like 40 slides. Uh. Also, at one shot, I go through then in the end, I will come to and uh, read the messages. So today is a read special. Welcome all. So feel free to ask me any questions about reads. Also today, let's focus on reads. So welcome, welcome. So this is the Singapore read index. Or in the five year chart, what you notice, the 1000 level is usually like the bottom already. So in 2020, when we faced all the virus and went into lockdown, it, Bridge below the 1000 level, but it quickly bounced up. Then the second time it, it break the 1000 level again is last year October, or where Feds were raising rates very intensively. People saw that these blue chip REITs are, or even small cap REITs, all their DPU decline in 2023. Some their DPU dropped 10%, some 20%, and some pan REITs like Manual Life, Core, and Prime, they, they suspend. Their, their distribution. So risk keep falling uh, all, all the way. Then when it fell below the 1000 level, it quickly rebound already. So you, this 1000 level is a very, very strong psychological level. I call this the Bao Jia zone. Bao Jia, Bao Jia in, in Singapore language, right? it means sure eat, sure win. Or it's like the durian drop from the tree. You pick up and eat for free. Huh? This Bao Jia. So, so what it means in financial terms? In financial terms is that the re index, the base value is 1000. Uh, and this base value is since 2010, one and a half decade ago. So this index has gone as high as 1500, a 50% gain. That's during the zero interest rate environment. And now it's back to its base value already. So usually when you buy here, right, it's the lows already. Right? Your, your downside is limited. Even during 2008 global financial crisis, it also crashed below 1000, then quickly it bounced up already. Uh, so basically you are buying at crisis level price. So to me, right, this price is easy buy. If you buy, you hold for two years, three years or longer, you're almost sure to make money. Right? As long as you have holding power, you're not using leverage, bao jia, sure make money. So how to, how to make money, what to buy? That, that's the big question. So if you don't know how to pick stocks, you don't understand the business, you're not familiar with the assets, not familiar with the sponsor, not familiar with, with the counter, just buy the ETF. So one of the ETF is ticker code CFA, the Nikko Asset Trace Time Asia X Japan REIT ETF. So basically this is the exchange traded fund inside is a basket of REITs. Or it, uh, IPO, I think like uh, one decade ago, the IPO price I think was $1. One dollar uh, IPO price. So now it's trading at a twenty percent discount to the IPO price a decade ago, and during the zero interest rate environment, it went to as high as one dollar twenty five. 
So REITs, the prices has crashed sharply already. You look at the five-year chart, it has been on the downtrend uh, all the way. So today, if you buy it, the dividend yield is 6%. So that's very attractive. Historically, REITs, right? Uh, so this is a basket of blue chip REITs. So historically, blue chip REITs pay about 5% uh, dividend yield. So you're getting above the historical average yield already. And let's say you're from Singapore. You put your money in the pension fund, fund CPF. It's just 4% 4 only. So you rather take the money you put into a basket of risk and you get 6%. You outperform. So it's an easy buy. Cannot be equal to zero because it's a basket of 30, uh, the large cap blue chip risk. Cannot go to zero one. So you sleep well at night. So that's the easiest play. That's the easiest play. Yeah, if you want to be a more advanced user, you want to stop pick. Also, how do you want to stop pick? So you want to buy the best one, the one that you feel that can outperform the index. You want to make a return that is better than, than this ETF. So this ETF, right, the disadvantage is that you need to pay a management fee. I think it's like 40 or 60 basis point. So without the management fee, if you own sell, buy the 20, 30 different reach, right, you can get 6.5% uh, dividend yield. Oh, but for me, right, when you stop pick, you want to concentrate to outperform the index. <coughs> and I'll pick from among all these uh, blue chip index. I want to buy the, the best, most blue chip reads uh, that I feel safe, I sleep well at night. And I feel that they are even higher quality and they can outperform the other reads. For me, right, I don't like the industrial reads because industrial reads, their lifespan is more limited, uh, like, like 30 years lease only. Uh, like, as I'm going to buy warehouse, or data center, all these 30 years. Whereas for commercial reads like shopping malls and office building is 99 years. So if you're holding for very long term, or you're especially you're holding it for retirement, so long holding period, then you want a, a longer lifespan. So industrial reads, right, instead of 6%, they can pay you like 7 or even 8% uh, dividend yield. The yield is higher, but the lifespan is shorter. So towards the, the end, right, your NAV will drop sharply which I, I don't like. That's why I avoid in industrial assets. So for me, right, my strategy is very simple. I pick the five strongest REIT out of the index. I get five blue chip REITs and I call it the five tiger generals. So I myself, so imagine yourself, you are an emperor or you're em emperor whatever. So I, I'm emperor master Leong. I lead my troops. Every of your single dollar is, is a soldier. Am I right? Your soldier go and fight the battle. If they win, you get more soldier. You lose, then your soldier all die. So you want your soldier to be led by the best general, that is the strongest, best fighting power, or the, the strength, the health, the stats is very good one. Can help you win, win a lot of battle. So same thing for, for the risk. There, there are so many risks. Which one you want to pick? You want to pick the best one that you feel that the characteristics uh, fits you the most. So I don't like industrial, I don't like data center, I don't like hospitality risks. I only like co commercial risks. That's why I pick this five tiger general. If you don't want to pick, also can you just buy the ETF? So inside the CFA, right, is a Asia read. Uh. So there's also Hong Kong China assets like the Ling reads. There's also India assets like the M uh, Embassy Office Park reads. Yeah, so you are very diversified across Asia, but mainly is the Singapore uh, blue chip reads. So for the five tiger generator, let me one by one uh, explain to you their full year results and what's their outlook ahead. So the biggest blue chip read in Singapore is CICT, Capital Land Integrated Commercial Trust. So you can see that for the past five years, right, the, the price has been sideways. So it's actually quite defensive. This is the blue chip read that you buy, you sleep well at night one. Because uh, it, it has the strongest sponsor under Capital Land and it's very diversified yes office yes also has uh, shopping mall assets so for for them right you can see that singapore forms 93.7 percent of their portfolio so they are mainly in singapore so if you, let's say you're you a singaporean you go to uh, the shopping mall like imm you go to like uh westgate uh, you, you, you can see all the assets really so all they are located near the mrt so it's very easy to recognize but what i don't like about their portfolio is that you can see that they have Germany and Australia exposure. And this overseas assets is the one that underperform. So you can see that their net asset value right 
they actually drop. German assets, the value dropped by 10%. Australia assets dropped by 9.6%. So it's very underperforming. So for their DPU, right, as a re investor, you're most concerned on how much is your dividend that you're getting every year. So it actually increased by 1.6%. So it's very solid. Whereas other risks, you see that most of them, their DPU is down. But they increased their DPU by 1.6% in 2023 or to 10.75 cents. So that's very good. So why the DPU increase is mostly carried by the recovery in the office asset. So what happened is that in 2.0, right, we have the lockdown. So actually DPU crash in 2.1. And DPU was weak uh, also in, in, in 2 2. So 2 1 and 2 2, what happened? In, in 2 1, it's mainly the shopping malls that be affected. Of uh, course, uh, people all, all stay home. And subsequently, the, the office mall uh, recovered already. Then the office mall was a bit weak due to the work from home culture. Like some people have worked uh, 2 3 days from home and another 2 3 days in the office. So there's less demand for office space. Then we are seeing this recovery in the office space in 2 0 2 3, right? Why Singapore is so strong? Whereas overseas, you see all the office assets is so bad. For example, in uh, US, Europe, or, or in Australia. Singapore is a bit of an abnormality because Chinese companies are coming to Singapore to set up their HQ. For example, Chinese big tech like uh, Lazada, Cai Niao, or then the Alipay. Then uh, we also saw e-commerce players like Timu, Shein, all set up HQ. Uh, in uh, Singapore, even TikTok, the headquarters is in Singapore. So it's mostly carried by all these Chinese tech companies. So the improvement in the office uh, uh, vacancy rate, right, helped to lift the DPU. Mostly is carried by the office sector. So so this is good. So the on the flip side, what is dragging down is actually the overseas asset. You see Germany, their occupancy rate for this like main import center, or it's only ninety one percent. So it's almost ten percent. Uh, vacant so that's quite bad Australia you can see the 100 other street wow this is super bad uh. the vacancy rate is so 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 bad or uh, is uh, almost like one, one uh, quarter empty so Australia and Germany overseas asset is not doing well so I don't like overseas asset so I, I have a preference uh, as a real investor right you should buy your own country can see can touch the KDV rule you go to the office you go to the shopping mall you see whether the traffic is there, the tenant is there or not, then you have an on-the-ground advantage. You think everything looks healthy, then you want to own the property because indirectly you are a landlord, but you own a small portion of the asset. So looking at their balance sheet, right, their, their gearing is at about 40% level. So that is okay, about there. I say 40% is where is the sweet spot between maximizing your yield and also uh, minimizing your risk. Uh, because once you hit above 50%, right, then you have to suspend uh, dividends and the banks might ask, ask you to pay up the loan, all this. Also, so 50% is the danger zone. So 40% is usually about the sweet spot. Then one thing good about CICT, right, is that their borrowing cost is that the lowest because they have the bluest chip status. They have the blue chip status. So it's about 3.4%. So the big question people are asking, Master, ah, so 2024 this year, will the dividend drop or not because of the higher interest rate cost? So you must understand what is the cost of borrowing. So for Singapore, right now the SORA or, or CYBOR means the borrowing rate, la, the Singapore overnight borrowing rate. Uh, it means in the US, we call it the, the Fed rate. So it's 5.25% in the US. But in Singapore, we don't follow the, the US interest rate. Because Singapore, right, the Sing dollar is a basket of currency. Inside there is US dollar, Euro, Japanese yen, and Chinese yuan. So two of these currency is high rate, which is like uh, US, UK, and Euro, like pound, Euro, and uh, dollar is high interest rate. But Japanese yen and Chinese yuan is low interest rate. So we are a basket of it. So, so our interest rate is a mix. That's why our interest rate, the risk-free rate is about 3.6, 3.7 like that. So as, as a blue chip status, right, you only pay a small premium over the risk-free rate. So if I'm in CICT, when I need to re renew my debt, uh, I go to the bank. So I want to like, borrow money 100 million for three years. What's the interest rate that the bank will give me? So they'll take the SORA plus maybe 20, 30 basis point. So if the risk-free is 3.6, they might charge me 3.8. 
percent interest rate. So given that our average cost of debt is three point four, we are already very near it already. So next year, right, the cost of debt, uh, I mean this year two zero two four, right, might tick up a bit, maybe just to three point five. So how much will it, will it tick up? So in two zero two four, they have about sixteen percent of their loan that they will renew. So this year when they renew, this portion will be three point eight percent. Uh, assuming the interest rate is still the same. Uh, so the average borrowing cost will take up a bit, um, may, maybe from 3.4 to 3.5. So will this cause the DPU to come down? Answer is no, because for office and the shopping mall assets, right, they have a step up rental. They will increase the rents, maybe 3 or 4%. Then their interest costs also increase. So it will offset each other. So I expect the DPU for CICT to be flat, meaning that the worst is over. The worst is over already. So a lot of people say, wow, 2023, very bad. Like. A lot of risks, uh, the, the DPU crash. So the my first answer to you all is the worst is over for blue chip risks. Uh, that, that DPU have already crashed. Most of them have already crashed in 2023. Some of them, that, that DPU hold it there, but the worst should be over. So in 2024, right, some of them, they, they might report flat DPU. Some of their DPU might, might drop 5%. Some of their DPU might be up. 5%. But if you're buying CFA, the REIT ETF, right, that has 20, 30 REITs, right, your DPU year over year should be about the same. You should be getting about the same DPU as 2023. So you're still getting about 6% uh, dividend yield. Well, that, that's the short answer. So next we have uh, MPACT. So this one, you look at the chart, it's a bit different. The, it's not so defensive. It's all the way downtrend. Whereas CICT, the, the price has been very sideways holding slightly below $2. So MPACT, you see a very strong downtrend, right? Because there's a lot of fear uh, in this read because of the exposure. The exposure to Hong Kong and China. Whereas CICT is 96, 97% Singapore, right? This one is almost more than one third of their asset uh, is exposed to the so-called CCP regime, bracket, uninvestable. That's why investors don't like uh, China exposure. So they sell it down. But fundamentally, it's very diversified. There's retail, there's office, there's also business park, and all these are very high quality assets. So assets that do, they don't like is actually the festival walk. Festival walk is similar to what I covered with fortune reads and the link reads. You can see that fortune reads are oh, is like a two third discount to book value. Link reads is half price discount to book value. So this portion is being heavily discounted. So so that's the that's the problem with the stock price. Oh, but danger is opportunity. So their DPU right crashed by ten percent, uh, year over year. So 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 that's that's very bad. Am I right? Yeah. So this is actually a, a, a nine nine month uh, This year to date, nine month was the, their work year ends uh in, in, in the end end of March. Also for the first nine month of this work year right, you can see that their DPU down ten percent. I will take it as the full year DPU down ten percent. Means next quarter. It is also the same, or just to be conservative. So the first question is why DPU crash so much? Number one is the higher interest rate environment. Number two is the property exposure. Look, notice that China property are very bad. The vacancy is ten percent, ten percent empty, because China we see that uh uh how, how I say that, that the sentiment is weak. Uh, uh, businesses are not keen to expand aggressively, like rent space, open more store. They, they are more towards like maintaining their position. So if the upside is that most likely, right, this uh, occupancy rate has bottomed already. So like we see Chinese New Year, people spend and travel. People spend on food. So businesses feel that hey, the consumer is coming back. So they start to hire workers, open more stores. So I do expect. 2024, right? This number to in increase and be above 90%. Uh, then, uh, what happened last year in 2023, right? Because of the slowdown in Hong Kong and China, we see the property. So, Hong Kong and China property prices drop 20 30%. So, the renters also come down because of the slowdown. When tenants renew, right? The, the, it's the tenant that has power, not the landlord. Or the landlord, wow, see their paper losses already down 20%. They scared already. They scared that the tenant don't rent. So to in order to make sure the tenant still stay at the place, right, they actually renew 
their, their, their rents at a lower rate. That's why rental revision is negative. And these two portion is one third of their portfolio. That's why DPU crashed by uh, 10%. But like I said already, like my previous fortune and anyway, I tell you, Hong Kong, right, this year in their budget, they everything is focused on property. They fire everything to save the property market already. So Hong Kong, by right, this year, the, the property market should bottom off already. Uh, if it doesn't bottom off, means it, it's very bad. But most likely, we have bottomed already. So, yeah, so, so this year, two, 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 four, it should stabilize for Hong Kong and China property market. Like, but the first half, the numbers could be weak. Because it takes some time for it to play out. Then the second half, then we see it turn green. But full year, it, it should stabilize already. That China and uh, Hong Kong exposure. So balance sheet wise, their leverage is also about 40%. I think that, that's okay. 40%. The average cost of borrowing is 3.3%, similar to CICT because they have the blue chip status. So blue chip status is freaking important. Whereas you see like manual life read, some pan is, is that go into trouble, then they have to borrow at 10%. You borrow at 10%, you, you are, your rental is negative. Your property, you 5%, but you pay 10% interest cost, you become negative. Whereas you have the blue chip status, you borrow at 3.3%, then you collect 5% 5, 5 rental, you still get the increment or you still get the spread. So the question is, what is the interest cost outlook for 2024? So for them, right, they already fully uh, refinanced already for, for this, uh, work, this half of the work year. Lah. So that, that's the good thing already. Uh. They already refinanced in advance. So uh, they, I think the interest will still take up a bit. Lah. So maybe take up a bit towards... Uh, 3.5%. So overall this year, right, uh, the next work year, right, the DPU could be flat or, or could be slightly down a bit, slightly down a bit due to the higher uh, borrowing costs. But the China and Hong Kong, uh, the numbers should stabilize. Oh, that's my outlook. So the worst should also be over for the MPACT. So Fraser Center Point Trust, or our third Tiger General, this one is super, super defensive one. Oh, you see, the stock price is higher than the CICT. Also, this is super defensive stock. So, you look at the fire chart, you see, very solid. You see this part, all the way sideways one. It doesn't crash below, it rarely crash below $2 one. This one, below $2 is pao jia durian, go in and whack already. But you seldom see it trade below $2 one. So, what is Fraser Center Point Trust? It's actually Heartland Mall. So, Heartland Mall is those mall tribe. They are near the MRT and it's very densely populated. It's those residential area with a lot of HDB flat. So FCT is similar to Fortune Read. But Fortune Read, oh, uh, people do, don't like it uh, because they feel that the asset is old and they are bearish on Hong Kong. Oh, but Hong Kong and Singapore, the demographics is very similar. Singapore asked me, weekend, what are you going to do? Like today is Sunday, what do you do? Probably, let's say you are a family person. You bring your wife and your kids off to the shopping mall, eat lunch, help your kid cut hair, or maybe go tuition. Then after that, you a while they go tuition, you and your wife go to the supermarket, buy some stuff. So Singapore is freaking boring one. We and you sure go shopping mall one. You can you have to do more shopping more than you stay at home. And even more boring. So shopping mall in Singapore, right? Located, well located shopping mall near the MRT, right? Is Pao Jia one. Oh, we and a lot of people. Yeah, weekday also. Uh, quite quite populated also so all these are very high quality asset with very good traffic so if you stay in the north side like, definitely you will be familiar like causeway point then northeast is the next and the waterway point uh, all these if you are singaporean you own the the read you weekend you go and see the shopping mall wow you see long queue uh, or oh, eating thai phone need to queue 30 minutes uh, wow, then you know then you are happy as a shareholder uh, you know that your rents are going up so previously what happened is that uh, the shopping mall assets was unfavorable in 2-1-2-0 due to the lockdowns. But now they, are, they have started to recover already and they are recovering very strongly. Why? Because Singapore is actually a tourism hub. Also, a lot of tourists are coming in. Like we see this year, the Taylor Swift effect. So this year, the numbers will be better than 2 0 2 3. So, so that's the good thing. So we can see that in their first quarter highlight, so this is actually end of de December. You see that? Or occupancy rate 99.9% fully rented already. So their shopping mall, you want to go and rent, they also no, don't have shop to rent to you. Everybody wants is fully eh? shopper traffic increase. Also, so the numbers are, are very good. 
So you look at their full year two three, right? You look at DPU hold it there. It's flat, uh, almost flat, down 0 0.6. So that's very good. So for FCT, right, I believe that DPU for 2, 4, right, will be higher, higher. But for two reasons, data I explain. One is that the Taylor Swift effect, uh, because shopping malls are, are doing very well due to tourism. Uh, then their portfolio, very solid. Right? You see all their shopping mall, all is like 99%, 100% uh, rental. Uh, only Central Plaza uh, is it, not fully because it's an office asset. It's an office asset. <laughs> it's not a shopping mall, but shopping mall asset is all very solid. But uh, it's just a tiny, tiny bit. So, so I, I'm not too concerned. So their portfolio, right, is very well managed. You see that their gearing is now 37.2%. I forget why. I think it's because their asset value increased. So your debt is still the same, but your asset value increased. That's why your gearing is down. So anything 40% or below is very healthy. But the difficulty they have is that their borrowing cost is very high, 4.3%. Why? Because they do not have the blue chip status. They are not part of the STI index. Their credit rating is triple, triple B. Unlike uh, the other two like CICT and MPACT, they have the blue chip status, uh, super big market cap or STI component. They can borrow at 3.5%. But FCT, they don't have the blue chip status. So their borrowing cost is higher. But despite the 4.3% borrowing cost, they're able to hold up the DPU. That means their asset is super, super good. Yeah, so next we have their uh, debt portfolio. Good thing is that they already renew all their debt for 2024 so that's good you don't have to worry about the interest cost going up because they already renew already so this includes the, the renewed debt already so that's very good it gives you certainty so i like the management a lot the management very experienced very good track record and it's the debt notice all these blue chip reads their debt is always very well staggered each year the debt is like 15 to 25 percent renewal on average you want to have about 20 percent of your debt renewing every year so the good news about center point, like the second catalyst, number one is that the asset is good. The rents will be higher uh, in 2.4 as tourism increase. Number two is that interest costs will come down because they have attained the blue chip status. Blue chip status. So FCT replaces Emperor Dawn uh, in the benchmark. So this one, I don't know what company. Uh, I never follow STI dinosaur. Uh, or become dinosaur. Cannot kick out already. Uh, so now they have the blue chip status, right? They will be able to go to the bank and borrow at a cheaper rate. So going forward, their interest cost will come down. So this 4.3% uh, is already peak already. It's the peak because the risk free rate, I tell you, is like 3.6 to 3.8. Because they don't have the blue chip status. So the banks will demand a higher premium. I say, oh, you are capital more trust. Uh, okay, I, I charge you 20 to 30 basis point premium. Or oh, you are FCT. Uh, I charge you 0 0.5, 0 0.6 premium because you are a mid cap company. You are not a blue chip company. So, but if you are Sampan Risa, oh, sorry, yo, I don't even want to lend to you. I go and find other bank. You, I want me to lend to you, can 10%, 12%, I lend to you. Don't shark money. Otherwise, you F off. <laughs> you go other bank. I don't want to lend to you. I lend to blue chip only. But I want to get my money back. So the banks are like that. During a downturn, they, they, do, they want to be very conservative in their lending. They only lend to blue chip. So, the other thing you noticed about this news update, right, is that Caper Reed and Suntech Reed is under the reserve list. So under the reserve list, that means the reserve list, they, they are fine counters. Lah. So if any time when the 30 blue ship, any of them, they are delisted due to corporate action, like being bought out or, or merger, right, immediately they will jump into the, the blue chip. So Caper Reed and Suntech Reed, they have semi blue chip status in that sense. Also, they are also my uh, fourth and fifth Tiger General also. So Suntech Reed is uh, like Huang Zhong, it's very old already. It's one of the pioneer uh, Reed also. Uh, so the asset is quite old, I think 20, 30 years already. Suntech is a very old shopping mall, but it's still very well located. So you see the stock price are, wow, over the past five years dropped a lot. Drop a lot. So what is wrong with Suntech Reeds? So about 70% of their exposure is Singapore. So this is where I, I love their asset. Like Suntech uh, City, Suntech Convention Hall, uh, Marina Bay Financial Center, uh, One Raffles Key, which they own one third state. Uh. So what I hate is the overseas asset. So overseas asset is fucking lousy. Sorry, <laughs> it's, uh, it's freaking lousy. See? It's the one that dragged all these risks down. So 
over the past few years, right, a lot of these Singapore REITs, right, because Singapore has so many REITs, all the good Singapore assets, all being bought out already. So they rise issue placement, they get the cash, they keep buying Australia, US, UK, Europe assets. And all these are lousy assets. The good asset they own sell keep. Those that they sell to, to us is the lousy asset. That's why I hate overseas asset. So the Australia and UK asset is the one that is freaking dragging this company down. So mostly their asset is office, la, 73% office, retail, and a bit of conversion is the Suntech conversion hall. So DPU crashed by almost 20%. Oh no! So it's very bad. Because this DPU crashed 20%, right? A lot of investors paper hand. Even I think the George Tan was a Suntech shareholder, but you see the numbers so bad. He divests off uh, Suntech and he switched into Kepler DC Reed. So you ask me, Kepler DC Reed can buy? No, I, I, I won't buy la, because it's still trading at a premium to book value. Whereas my five Tiger General, they're all trading at a discount to book value. So I'll share all their numbers later in the final table. So when you look at Australia portfolio, you look at Sydney, wow, Sydney, uh, okay, uh, it's still fully rented. You look at Melbourne, Southgate Complex, 85% occupancy rate. It's 15% empty, it's, very, it's bad. Uh, and you see, uh, Adelaide, you see, 55 Curry Street, uh, wow, become Curry already, you see. Half of it empty, uh, half of your, 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 this office building empty, wow, it's very bad. Uh. That's, that's why, if you are half empty, right, that means you're collecting half, Half your rent is, is missing. Uh. That's why, of course, your DPU crashed. Uh. You cannot rent out. You cannot rent out. Also, now Australia is also having a crisis. Uh, or it's also having a so-called cost of living and property crisis. So UK is, is uh, bad, but, but not as bad. Uh. The minister building uh, is 87% occupancy rate. So, so that's bad also. Uh. So, so I, I really hate their overseas assets. And that's that what dragged them down. The second thing that dragged them down right, is the mismanagement. They over leverage. You look at their leverage ratio. Oh, as of uh, 31 December 2 3, so this one, uh, 42.3%. So their leverage ratio is higher than the average. Most of the blue chip reads, right, they are 40%. So they were too aggressive in, in their expansion during the good days, during the zero interest rate environment. So now it comes back to bite them. And you see the interest rate cost, right? from almost 3% jump to 3.8%. So that's why the DPU is being pressed down. So it's the high interest rate cost past their high gearing. Then on the flip side, their, their overseas asset underperform. So for Suntech, right, one thing good is that their portfolio for 2024, they already refinanced half of it already. They refinanced half, so we have certainty in their borrowing cost. So for me, right, I think their borrowing cost should be pick or, or picking already because this might, might take up a bit maybe towards 3.9 or 4 but but it's not gonna be a huge jump like like, like the previous year lah. jump one percent no way already lah. so i think it will uh shift more towards near four percent so the financing cost may be increased a bit only so that's why i think the worst should be over the worst should be over so the risk for suntech reach right is that lah. Uh, the overseas asset law, like the UK and the Australia asset continue to worsen, then 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 the DPU will drop. Lah. But if the overseas asset does not worsen, then the DPU, this 20% drop should bottom off already. Uh, that's my honest thinking. Cannot be last year drop 20%, this year drop another 20%. That one is Sampan risk already. This is not Sampan risk. So so you don't be scared. Oh, so the last one, our fifth tire line is Kepler Reed. So I rank them in terms of market cap. Lah. So this one you can see that the price is similar to Suntech. Also sold down very sharply over the past five years. Super downtrend. Why? Also the same because of Australia asset. 80% is Singapore. Then they have Japan, Korea. I like Japan and Korea asset, but I don't like the Australia asset. Yeah, so so just now I have one viewer from Australia. Sorry, yeah. Not that I'm against Australia. I love Australia. I've been to Melbourne. I, I've been to Sydney. Although Master uh, donated thousands of dollars. I, I think almost five figures also have. To your two famous Crown Casino and the Star Casino. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, the Star, the Star Casino. And now it's the Crown Casino, if I'm not wrong. Also, Melbourne and Sydney, wow, a lot of painful memories for Master. Maybe that's why I very long never visit uh, the Great Australia already. All oh, the casinos suck me dry dry. So uh, for me, I used to be a 
professional card gamer, poker player, but I also play in the casino one. Master is gambler, I admit. Master is gambler. So I like Australia, huh? not against Australia, but just that the, the assets underperform. Huh? It's mostly dragged down by the Australia assets. So looking at their financial numbers, right? you see that DPU, wow, so good. Huh? Suntec crashed by 20%. Kepa Reed, wow, management, wow, so good. Huh? DPU only dropped by 2%. So on the surface, you think that what the DPU only dropped a bit is very well managed. It's actually not true. It's because of their anniversary distribution. So uh, in two two they announced it and and they paid ten million. This year they paid twenty million. It's like every half a year they give ten million now. So if we strip this off, right? Let's say we strip off ten million, right? That's a five percent drop already. Uh, so so actually DPU is down seven percent. If you strip off the entire thing, right? DPU is actually down 12%. So it's mostly due to this special reward uh, to distribute additional 100 million over 5 years due to their 20 year listing. So both Kepler and Suntec Reed is a dinosaur, it's a very old read already. But the good thing is that over the past two decades, right, when their assets are very richly priced, right, they actually divest this asset and they have the capital gains. They sell at a higher price. Then they keep this uh, capital gains in their, their books. Like a, like a piggy bank like that, save for the rainy day. And now it's the freaking rainy day because they are hit by the high interest rate and environment. Yeah, so they take out the money from this piggy bank to offset. That's why your DPU looks more stable. Yeah, so it's a bit of a gimmick. But I would say the money is still yours. It's still your own piggy bank money. As a capital rich shareholder, it's your, you, they, they just take the money from piggy bank to give you. It's still yours. So I say, I will still say that it's fair. Just that you must understand why the DPU never crash. Why you should be off the DPU actually crash. So looking at their balance sheet, right? They have a big portion of, of debt to be renewed, twenty two percent. So so this is a bit high. They need renew this year. And look at the, their borrowing cost is still very low at three <coughs> percent. So when they renew this year, right? This borrowing cost will, will shoot up, maybe shoot up towards three point five percent this year. But the on the good side is that their leverage is low at about 39%. So overall, I expect cable DC series, right? The DPU will come down. The DPU likely might, might come down maybe 5%. I expect a 5% drop uh, in, in DPU for the cable DC series. So for the five tiger general, right? In general, right, I would say the DPU has bottomed off already. Am I right? I explained to you so much. Some of them the DPU might go up a bit, like, like FCT due to the Taylor Swift effect. Some of them, their DPU might come down a bit uh, due to uh, the higher interest rate cost. So, plus minus 5% movement will be normal. If DPU drop 5%, DPU up 5%, will is normal. But don't expect like 10-20% DPU movement. Unlikely already. The high interest rate, so-called storm, uh, has passed already. So this year, the hope is that second half, Powell will start cutting rates. So now you see at this snapshot of the five Tiger General, huh? you can see that all of them, they are trading at a discount to book value. On average, if you buy or let's say you are equally weighted, example, you take 100,000 or you either buy the CFA ETF if you do want to stop pay. If you stop pay, you put 20,000 each into the five Tiger General. On average, you are getting a 23% discount to book value and you're getting almost 6.2% dividend you so that's very attractive and you will beat inflation secondly is that dpu has bottom off as a whole ah. if you pick individually some of them the dividend will go up some will go lower it's very hard to predict like i give you just now it's just my own personal estimate or it also depends on whether they can renew or whether their vacancy rate they can maintain or not and whether the interest rate environment will change or not so my general view, like how I explain, is that DPU should be stable as a basket. As a basket, your DPU should be stable and you can collect 6.2%. And what's your upside? Your upside is that Powell cut rates in the second half. When they start to cut rates, your borrowing cost starts to come down, your DPU will increase. Yeah, so Pao Jia, I think Durian is here. Lah. So, so be greedy when others are, are, are fearful. So I jump back to the, the beginning of my sharing. Like I say already, uh, look at the index. Uh, do you want to buy when it's 1,400, 1,500? Or do you want to buy when it's 1,000 level? 
So for me, right, I cannot predict the lowest. I, I don't have crystal ball. Say, oh, master, ah, when buy risk is the lowest, I don't know. I don't know. It can crash to the retest the low at 963. It can break lower. 950, I don't know. But I would say 1000 level now is bao jia. You buy now, you hold two, three years, is the durian bao jia. Also, that's all, all end of my sharing. If you like my sharing, feel free to share this with all your other friends. Huh? Because every time uh, people ask me new questions, always got the new bubble coming. Master, huh? what is the five tiger general? Can buy this or not? So I hope, so one shot I make this video, I answer all your questions already. So help me to share this video. If, if your friends or what, uh, they hold it, uh, share this video, educate everyone. But every time I repeat, it's very tiring. To be honest, right? My YouTube channel is not a rich channel. <laughs> I must say I don't hold any reads to be honest because master I feel that I'm still young. I, I'm pushing for growth lah. Master Chongster, I ride motorbike Chongster. So I'm going for the Hong Kong market, Alibaba, JD, SE and Ping An. So my focus on my YouTube channel is actually Chinese tech Hong Kong market. But about 60% of my viewer is from Singapore. So often I get a lot of questions on reads. So once a while I do a Singapore special to cater to my, my Singapore audience. Yeah, so I hope you all can share this video la, to, to your friends la, that are also into reads. So one shot I answer you all already. Then you all don't keep asking me about reads. Because I want to focus more on the Hong Kong market. Uh, then Singapore market, a lot is dinosaur. La, la. So uh, previous day I covered the four heavenly kings of Hong Kong land. Kim Lee, Thai Beverage, Sing Song. Uh, now I covered the five Tiger General. Then previously I also covered DBS. So these 10 stocks right, are my picks for the Singapore market. Of course, DBS, now what's the price? Uh, I, I would say like post bonus 30 or below is, is can can buy. Uh, I would say. But DBS, I think, run up already. DBS. DBS, I like it a bit more because they have a bit of tech, tech expertise. But uh. like now 33.7, I think it's a bit pricey. I will buy, I will, I'll give it a buy call, maybe 33 or lower. Then post bonus share, it will be 30 or So now don't buy. La. Wait for it to XBXD, la. X bonus, X dividend. Then it will be below $30. Below $30, then buy. If it doesn't come below, then, then don't buy. So, so these are the 10 counters out of the 300 over counters in the SGX that I, 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 I will favor more. Lo. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy my sharing on Singapore market. Still can make dividend, ah, but Singapore market is not where you can make 20 30 percent a year. You want to make warm buffer return, right? Singapore market is very hard. Singapore market is where you make like 6 to 10 percent return at best. Lah. So you buy this risk. Okay, if you buy risk, right, what you get? You get 6 percent base dividend. Example, you buy 5 Tiger General or you buy the ETF. Then your secondary return is the capital gain. Let's say from 1000 level, it recovered to 1200 when the interest rate. Is in the US is being lowered from 5% to 3%. So once the interest rate starts to come down, then you have some capital gain. So you get 6% dividend, then somewhere a few years later, you can get another 20% capital gains when the index goes to 1,200 level. So when were the REITs, the boat start to leave port? The Now is uncertainty. We don't know the power one to cut or not. So once he start to cut, then the, 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 the it will start to rocket already. It will be a, a very sharp recovery. It won't slowly go up. But usually, it will bounce up very sharp once we are certain that rates will be lowered. Yeah, because that it will relieve the borrowing cost of all these rates. Yeah, so that's all my sharing. So maybe I do a poll lah, uh, to, to, to chit chat. Lah, uh. So start a poll. What do you think of SG rates? Uh, also, uh, today, how uh, today no lag, very good. Uh. Oh wow, bao jia, bao jia, bye, bye now. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, uh, still, uh, no good, no good. Oh. Worse yet to come, yet to come. Ah, yeah. I was saying no good, worse yet. So that means that risk will drop further. You think that risk will drop further. So whether you want to buy now at 1000 level or you think it, it will drop further. Uh, yeah, so. I ask you, what's, what's your view? Though? You think now is the time to buy REITs or you all should wait for lower prices? So, 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 yeah, on top, yeah, wow, you really have to, so feel free to let me know. So, so, it's just like a discussion like that. Also, feel free to ask me anything about REITs. 
Okay, so Jeff Lu, like just now you asked me, Kepa DC Reed can buy or not? I don't like that. Kepa DC Reed, the, the U is not that high. I think it's 5 over percent only. And it's a premium to book value. So, so but Kepa DC Reed is a read that you buy when you already have 10 or 20 reads in your portfolio. If you already have like 20 reads in your read portfolio, right? You want to diversify. You already have like industrial reads, huh? shopping mall reads, huh? then you have the hospitality reads. Huh? Uh, then you have everything already. Then, Cable DC Read is more of a niche asset, data center. So you want to diversify. Then you will get the Cable DC Read. If you're just building a base, right, you don't use Cable DC Read as a base. Uh, it's like a secondary kind, kind of pick. Uh, that's, that's how I think of Cable DC Read. Uh. Usually the, the base, right, is uh, shopping mall, office, and industrial read. These are, are the core that you build a base to get your dividend. Then some of the special ones is like Parkway Live Reads. Uh, for hospital asset, uh, data center reads like cable DC. Yeah, so these are uh, secondary reads, uh, uh, I would say. Yeah, your main, you should fill it up with the blue chip reads. Yeah, okay. So, LVNC, I sold pre market. Maybe that's why I dropped many Grab stuff selling recently. Yeah, uh, is it? There's the, that's why the Grab dropped to $3. $3 is, 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 a, is a support. Uh. Yeah. Cash 11, so Cash 11 is from Hong Kong, so today you learn new word, uh, Pao Jia. Pao Jia means sure eat, Pao means sure, Jia means eat, uh. sure eat. Uh. Pao Jia, Pao Jia Durian. So th this Pao Jia is actually, got this company, uh, it's called Pao Jia Durian, uh, but it's not a sponsored post. Uh. I Google Pao Jia, I see the picture, I, I throw inside. Uh. But really got this company called Pao Jia. Pao Jia sell, sell Durian one, but, but not, not a sponsored post. Uh. <laughs> well, you, know, you all learn now, uh. my, my foreign viewers now, you all learn, learn Singlish from Master. Uh. All oh, my Hong Kong and Australia viewers, you all now know what is Pao Jia. So when you come to Singapore, remember to order the durian. Order durian, eat lah. Durian, D24 durian, Pao Jia. Wow, Kash 11, you love Singapore slang. Yeah. Makan is, is eat lah. Yeah. Jay Lim ah. oh, you ask people, anyone boarding the wheats? <laughs> yeah. So, CPR, so Kash 11, plan the sideway consolidation of Baba this coming week. Ah. Yeah, I think the the... the Chinese tech feels like consolidating. It's not crashing, but Baba is holding at the $70 level. <clears throat> so $70 level is, is that, that, that uh, consolidation like that. Yeah, might as well, but as STI ETF is basically bank and, and REITs. ETF, STI, I think, got six or seven REITs inside the index. Really. It's three banks and seven REITs. And they make up such a high weightage. Uh. I think you buy STI, 60% of the weightage is the bank and REITs. So, so, so it's also the same. Uh, the difference between STI and the REIT ETF is whether you want the bank exposure or not. <clears throat> Seb, buy CFA or Five Tiger General. <clears throat> the conservative approach is to buy the ETF. Uh. Especially, let's say you are your first year or second year investing. Uh, then you buy ETF to get a few of it. Uh. If you're more experienced, you have conviction, then you go for the Five Tiger General. Because five Tiger General is a bit of a contrarian. You are stock picking and you are you don't believe in industrial asset. Like for me, I don't like industrial asset. Also, industrial asset is against my KDV rule. I cannot see, I cannot touch. I don't go to the industrial area to see the asset. I, I'm I'm less familiar la, with the industrial asset. Where shopping mall and office asset is very easy, man. I just take MRT, go down and see. I know whether the asset is good or not. I, I can see very clearly. So, so that's the KDV rule. So nothing wrong, nothing right. You, you the five tiger general right is like something to make you have awareness only. Ah, uh, it's like top court one ah. Uh. Five tiger general, general is top court one ah. Uh. You yourself is either you buy the ETF or you pick five reads that that you feel is the best. Like Adam Ku say that his top three favorite reads right is the Asunders reads, uh, Capital Integrated Commercial Trust, and the Maple Tree Industrial. I think I think that is. His top three uh. yeah so he has a preference towards industrial reads but but up to you one uh. those are also solid you ask me industrial like uh ascenders reads uh caper uh maple tree logistics maple tree industrial all these are, are, are very solid also just that I, I don't like the industrial one yeah because they have a shorter uh lifespan vince tan slowly loading reads uh. yeah slowly jack slowly jack now it's buffet durian buffet yeah except mpa city is most undervalued it's also because like I shared with you, Fortune and Link Reads, also super undervalued. Hong Kong exposure, very undervalued. Okay, 
ML, have you reviewed Capital Land China risk or 52 weeks low with dividend yield above 9%? So Capital Land uh, China risk, right? Uh, it's similar to the Ling risk and 41 risk. So people don't like the Hong Kong and China exposure. That's why it, it's so cheap. That's why it's so cheap. But uh, I haven't looked at it uh, because I, I, I cover so many risks. Uh, very tiring. Uh. If you've got interest, I, I might cover the, the CLCT uh, in, in the future. I don't think it's a sampan reads. Uh. It has a strong sum, uh, sponsor, uh, Capital Land. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay. SG Reads will go global. Go, go, global uh. they, they buy assets overseas. Yeah. Alvin C don't, don't like uh, the work from home. Uh. Boring. Uh. You like to socialize. Uh. Talk hot during lunchtime. Uh. Okay, Jeff Du, Lion, Philip, S3, any comment? It's also a very good uh, read ETF. It is purely Singapore Reads. Don't have overseas uh, uh, reads. I like the CFA more a bit because usually you buy reads if you want to diversify. Ma. Then Ling Reads is also very good. La. It's the largest read in Asia and it has the Hong Kong as asset. So you, it, you buy ETF is for diversification. So I think CFA serve the purpose more for, for diversification. Then Lion Philip Reed is, is pure Singapore one. No? Then uh, if you are using CPF to buy, yes, Miracle, you're correct. CPF investment account can only buy CFA. So CFA is approved uh, for CPF, whereas the Lion one is not approved. So that's why I also recommend CFA. Because it, it will beat your CPF return. Ma. Your CPF, you get 4% or 2.5%. This one, you get 6%. is Pao Jia. Yeah. Festival Walk. Yeah, Festival Walk is luxury more. Ah. Wow. Yeah, it's under the MPACT. Oh, so it's luxury more. I, I didn't know. Yeah, Alvin C. Uh, JD did not fully utilize their buyback from last uh, allocation. Do you think they will utilize more? So it will stack up one. Uh, if they, they, they did not buy now, they can use the money to buy later because they already allocate already. So then they slowly buy. Uh, yeah, and they got announced that they upsized the share buybacks. Ma. So I think it's okay. So they're buying out about I think 3% of their outstanding shares every year uh, plus a 3.5% dividend. That's for JD. Yeah. OE, OE, industrial REITs, what will happen after 30 years? So you 30 years later, you go to zero, you, you, you give back the property. So same as HDB flat. Huh? HDB flat, uh, shopping mall, uh, office is 99 years. Why it goes to zero? It all goes back to the government, the land goes. So zero. So when you own this kind of asset, right, usually right in the last one third of the lease, right, the NAV will drop sharply. So let's say you are HDB, right? In your last 30 years, right, your NAV will, will drop like a cliff like that. So same for industrial assets. The first 20 years, you don't see the NAV dropping. But once the lease left 10 years, right, the NAV will, will start to drop a lot. So for a blue chip read like a Sunder Street, right, what, what they do is that they keep refreshing the portfolio. They'll buy new industrial assets. Then the older ones that left, like, like before they run out of the lease, right, let's say they buy, it's 30 years, ah, then they use it for 15 years. It left. 15 years lease, right? They will sell it away. So they will keep recycling uh, the portfolio. So it's a bit more tedious for the fund manager also. Th that's why I also don't like uh, industrial REITs. But a lot of people, they don't aware that the 30 year lifespan only. So using layman term, uh, if I say what your asset, one asset can last 100 years, another asset can last 30 years, right? What is the depreciation? If your asset is 100 year using a straight line method, your depreciation is 1% per year. So that's very manageable, am I right? If you pay me 6% dividend, 1% depreciation, my real returns is, is 5%. So for industrial, right, using a straight line method, your depreciation, depreciation is 3% per year. So if you are collecting a 6% dividend and you're depreciating 3%, your real returns is only 3%. So generally, right, for industrial reach, right, the U is higher, the rental is higher. So Commercial risk you might get like six percent U. Industrial risk you might get eight percent U. Eight percent U minus your three percent depreciation, your real returns is five percent. So if you want to buy industrial risk, right, you must uh you must expect to get a two percent higher dividend U as compared to assets that are ninety nine year lease. So that's so called uh the basis uh, of investing in risk. But a lot of people. They are newbie investor. They don't understand this. Very few people think this way, one master. I, I don't dare to say that I'm an expert with investor, lah. But I, I can say that 
I'm an experienced investor, so I think differently. So very few REITs uh, investors will tell you that, oh, industrial REITs, their portfolio, all is 30 years this one. Very few of them are even aware. They don't read the annual report. Only if you read the annual report, you scan all the asset one by one, then you will realize that, that uh, the lease is 30 years. Nowadays, even have industrial, the lease uh, is like 10, 15, or 20 years one. So if those kind of short lease is in the portfolio, then you want to avoid that, that read already. So you must really do your due diligence. But master is here. La. I do the due diligence for you already. I, I tell you, this, this five tiger general is the highest quality one. So people ask me, master, la, if, if Powell crazy, la, don't cut rates. La. Increase rate. La. The high interest rate environment will crash all the rates or not. Master is if Powell increase rates, right? Yes, the rate market will crash. But the Sampan rates will die first. The five tiger general among all the 50, 60 rates, they are the last one to die. Uh, the small small cap and the mid cap rates will die first. The blue chip rates are the last to die. Also, if you hold the five tiger general, other people die first. The manual life, the core rate, the prime rate, they, they die first. Then, then you die. So you, you sleep better at night. Yeah. Yeah, Taylor Swift this concert ended already. Oh, everyone will miss Taylor Swift. Yeah. So so FCT they buying more next ownership. Uh. So so that's that's good. FCT is you you sleep well at night, uh. very solid one. The management is, is very good. Yeah, Pixel Princess, why why you cannot buy FCT then? Okay ma, I think all, all the five tiger generals still can buy that. They, they, I don't think they are expensive. Uh. All of them are still trade. Just that CICT and FCT they are not so discounted. Uh. The other three is, is more discounted. But if you buy it as a whole, it's, it's all right. Uh, I would say. Yeah. Because performance uh, will fluctuate a bit. Uh. Yeah. STI got dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, Singtel. Singtel is super dinosaur. Uh. Cannot make it one, uh, Singtel. Yeah. Yeah. STI only left bank and read. Uh. Yeah, it's a bank and read ETF. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Pixel Princess lose money on Kepa DC read. Uh. I thought Master Leong Susu got won, you all don't touch the Kepa DC read. That means you buy very long ago uh, before you see my video. Uh. Then that one cannot save you already. Uh. Not I recommend, I never recommend Kepa DC read. Uh. I don't know who you follow. Uh. For me, uh, I keep warning you all don't buy already. Uh. But but if it crash, that, that after my video, I say, what's the fair value? If, if it crash further, then it might be a buy. Uh, so. It seems like a lot of y'all like Kepa DC Read. I don't like that. Like, why y'all all like that? Nah? Which YouTuber asked y'all buy Kepa DC Read one? Oh, it's still very high. Nah. Yeah, I think rebounded a bit. $1.70. Nah. Yeah, that's the previous low. Nah. Oh, now it's at the support. Nah. Yeah. Oh, more, $1.70. 5.5% dividend. Okay, nah. I think it can buy. Nah. I think I think it's at chart wise, it looks like, like the support already. It cannot drop further. In fact, a lot of risk is at the support level if you look at the charts. Yeah, already got the big wheel starting to buy. 5.5% dividend, I think okay. Leh. I think 170, uh, I don't know, I don't know. But, but it's, the pick was almost $3. Uh, it's almost half price already. Or you want to wait for 150 I don't know. I don't. I, I think if you buy to diversify, 170 is okay. Leh. But it's not a bargain. Leh. You buy Kepa DC Re, it's not a bargain. Leh. It's just for diversification. You must understand that. Leh. Okay, I wonder why Sun Tech Week is your five general. It's the Huang Zhong. Oh. It's, it's the old man. Ah. But, but the assets is still good. Like, like the Sun Tech Week, ah, Sun Tech Week uh, the portfolio inside, right? Uh, the, the assets is, is still good. Eh. I, I, the other time I go to Sun Tech Week, on the weekend, got the travel fair, got the invest fair, still got people go on. Eh. It's, not, it's not say very bad. Eh. So their Singapore portfolio is the one that I like. So the Singapore, they have Suntech City, One Refers Cree and MBFC. All these are very good asset. Uh, one Refers Cree and uh, Marina Bay Financial Center, right? The other, they have a one third stake. The other one holding one third stake is Kepa Reed. And the last person holding the one third stake is the, uh, is the what? Uh, Ling, Ling, Ling Reeds. So all these are, 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 this one is the triple A, the best asset really among the office. So their Singapore portfolio is very good. But Suntech I don't like is the Australia and UK asset. So that's the problem. It's a love-hate relationship. But so I, I say it's the Huang Zhong. Yeah, it, it, it is, he still can fight, still can kill. But 
he's fucking old already la. yeah that's why that, that's the problem huh? yeah he's a bit old already la. yeah another one is the maple industrial wheat yeah maple industrial wheat they have a lot of overseas assets so th there's the risk that they, they like caper dc wheat like that yeah yeah caper wheat is the og la. pure office play that's why old school very old school yeah Jeff to only buy which with Singapore asset. So so that if you are from Singapore, you buy Singapore asset because you you know the the on the ground what's happening. If you are like Cash Eleven, you're from from uh, Hong Kong, then you buy Hong Kong asset. Uh, buy your own country asset because you you can go to the shopping mall and see whether it's doing well or not. So the KDV rule can see can touch. Yeah, master is to certain God or gamble. Ah uh, yeah, master FCT EGM twenty fifth ah got serve buffet or not? Nowadays no buffet already la. give bento la. Buffet is like long 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 ago la. Yeah, so Kepper Reed and Santa Reed both got Australia exposure Australia not, not doing well Ivy Lim, welcome welcome our goddess of SE Yeah, MPEG looking good MPEG, MPEG master light la. looks very cheap la. To tao yi wu so sen ah Wow, Pistols Princess Need to sen ah, it means you bet your left, left over la. Wow, Pistols Princess so poor thing ah Hope you can fight back la. Grab, I think, uh, for trading, I don't know lah. But as a value play, $3 is, is, is cheap lah. For, for Grab, I, I, I would say lah. And there are guidance of 14 to 17% revenue growth rate is quite respectable. Eh? It is quite quite good. Eh? Now, SE expensive. Eh? As, SE, the boat left port really lah. So, I think chase for other boat lah. Yeah. I think Hong, Hong Kong market and REITs lah. So, now there's a lot of boat at port lah. Like you see, that now the REITs is at port. REITs is can buy lah. If I'm older now, master is still young lah. If master is fifty year old, right? If let's say I, I'm now like uh a bit older in my fifties, right? I will be buying risk aggressively lah. I sure check the bao jia liu dian, check 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 until full one lah. I now sure wet rich one lah. If I'm older lah, but now I'm not into dividend. Yeah, if if I'm old like fully retired, right? I want to live off my my risk income, right? Build a dividend portfolio. Lah. Now I will be buying risk aggressively for sure lah. Yeah, so so that's why I I, I introduced you all to read. So so now, the the boat at port is read so reads and Hong Kong market oh. That's why I I cover more these two two areas. Yeah, but my fo my focus is still Hong Kong Hong Kong market. Yeah, next Tuesday is the U S C P I. My view is that ha, U S C P I will be sticky lah. It, it will stick around the three percent level because the Biden stupid one is still printing a lot of money U S. They are fighting war at two fronts. Eh. Ukraine, Russia, war. Fight, fight, fight. Then they every month give billion of dollar to, to Ukraine. Print so much money, how to, to not have invasion? Then you see the uh, uh, Gaza Strip there. Eh. They bomb, 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 bomb. Wow, the civilian kill, 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 kill. Still, still fighting the war. Eh. Then how to not have invasion? That, that, then they, they, boss, they must supply the weapon, sell the weapon. I don't know or, or what. So. As long as there's two war ongoing, right, the inflation cannot come down. So I think inflation will be sticky at 3%. Uh, as simple as that. You don't have to overthink one. Inflation cannot magically come down to 2.5 or 2%. Uh, as long as the two war is ongoing. So that, that, is well, that is also why Powell is resistant to cut the rates. But I believe the rates will be cut because Biden will ask Powell to cut rates. Otherwise, the market will crash. Then he will not win the election. So it's the political factor that is stronger lor, than the real economic factor. So so I, I don't like the US market. Yeah, Ton Runner, curious why SG Pao Jia, you, you choose China. Because although it's Pao Jia, the returns is low. You get 6% dividend, it doesn't excite me. Lah. I feel that if you buy Alibaba, Tencent, Hansen Tech ETF, you can compound at 20-30%. For me, I'm a Warren Buffett wannabe, but I'm a failed Warren Buffett. Lah. Uh, I lose 200,000 on Alibaba. So, but I inspired to be like Warren Buffett. Uh, compound my portfolio at 20-30%. So, REITs, I cannot make 20-30%. I cannot make that kind of return one. So, I think Hong Kong market is where I can make that kind of return. That's why I, I invested in SE. SE, high, high growth. Uh. Yeah, they're expected to grow revenues at 18%. So, growth is coming back for SE already. A lot of Bookage house uh, start to have buy call on SE. So SE is on a clear up trend, the board has left port. So uh, 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 then uh, China market, Hong Kong market, like Baba, JD, Ping An, these are value buy. Example, Baba fair value easily to me is 200 or higher. 
So you can double or triple. So I, I'm going for higher returns like Ping An. You're buying it at 0 0.7 times book value. Fair value is easily 1.5 times book value. So Ping An is an easy double. So Ping An JD and Baba, all this is easy double or triple one. That's why I, I focus my DCA on JD and Ping An. Uh, that, that's my thinking. Oh, yeah. So so Singapore risk is pao jia la. But if my, my age is higher, like 50 over year old. Chicken update new video. Wow, Chicken is back from holiday already. Uh, finally. I think he three weeks never post already. I thought he he, he give up already. Oh, then you are th someone tell me in the telegram that he go holiday. Oh, so he's back already. Today I saw the back holder podcast video. Ma. You, you all share in the group chat. Oh, so I, I the Z invest. Ah. Oh, the Z invest. Wow, he, he very hot. Ah. His channel 50,000 plus subscriber. He's making like 1 million uh, seven figure revenue per year. Wow, so I think it's very rewarding. To be a financial YouTuber. A lot of these financial YouTubers, they are all like corporatizing. Then I see that Calvin Lee investing, he hired like what, five freelance editor or what. So all of them, they are expanding and corporatizing really. Higher editor, all this. Uh. So for, for me, I will never monetize my channel. Uh. Once you monetize, it becomes a business, right? The risk will be there. Example, if that's it, it's a down cycle, your revenues crash 50%. But you have to upkeep all your the manpower, all this, wow, then your business will be in trouble. So I myself, I'm a field businessman. Uh, I, 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 I keep up bomb in three business already. So I, I don't want to do business anymore. I don't, I'm not fit. And I realize that I, I'm not suited to be a businessman. Yeah, but YouTube to me is also like a business. Uh, but I see it more like a hobby, part-time job. Uh. Once I start to hire editor and corporatize, right, it becomes a business. I don't want to do that. So I'll always be, I'll be a one man show lor. I don't have to grow fast lor. You just slowly grow, earn some pocket money, happy there. Oh, yeah. Then you enjoy master talk talk share about weeds lah. Okay, Cameron, why O U E hospitality weeds is sampan? O U E the problem is management is no good lah. O U E is the same management as the lipo mall, you know. If I'm not wrong, yeah. I I don't like the management lah. The the only risk they have their strong management is like the Capital Land, Maple, Fraser lor. This tree is reputable la. Capital start is a bit shady already la. You see the Capital Corey all this yeah. So I say Capital, Maple and the Fraser. This this tree is is stronger sponsor, better management track record lor. OUE OUE uh management I I don't like la, To to be honest, you must look at their track record. Look at the, other other risks under them. Oh, correction, five year low for capital than China. It is very cheap, ah. It's similar to the link risk, fortune risk that, that I covered. China and Hong Kong uh, exposure is very depressed. Ah. Johnson Yo, welcome, welcome. Uh, okay. So your chit chat I, I skip a bit. Okay, so okay. Ralph, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Okay, Jeff Du, Ghana KFC read during IPO. Uh. What is KFC read? The global financial crisis. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, FC1, yeah, FCT added to STI. Uh, that, 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 that's uh, just added to STI. Uh. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just added only. Uh. So, so once they gain the blue chip status, hopefully they can lower their, their, their borrow costs. Uh. Yeah, Kappa DC read is more like an alternative asset. Uh. Usually your, your core should be industrial. Commercial risk ma. Data center is like a special niche asset like that. That's why Kappa, you look at uh, the Parkway Live read uh, and the Kappa DC read, usually they trade at higher valuation, lower U1 because this is a rare asset. So there's very high demand for such a rare asset. So usually they are not undervalued. That's why I don't like Parkway Live, I don't like Kappa DC read. Usually you pay a premium. They don't sell at a discount one. They never sell at a discount to book value one. I like to buy at a discount to book value when people are, 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 are fearful. Yeah. So, yeah, do your due diligence. Yeah, so. And then, Lim, welcome, welcome. Yeah, just got home from outside. Lah. Yeah, check your dinner already. Lah. Oh, slowly see, see master talk talk talk. Lah. Yeah, seems that oh, a lot of interest on reads. Ah. Sunday got 260 viewers. I, 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 I'm quite surprised. Ah. Wow, had Shake Shack at airport. Wow, Shake Shack, I like that. But the Shake Shack in Singapore very expensive. In, in the US, I eat Shake Shack is cheap, cheap one. 
in the in in Singapore, it become atas one. M G G M L any bao jia in the U S market no ah, but U S market everything is very expensive ah. U S market Apple and Alphabet is coming down oh. If you like blue chip tech, then you might want to bargain hunt Apple and Alphabet. Apple I don't like lah. In the recent oil podcast, Chermak uh, Palipatia said that Warren Buffett, uh, is not mentioning Apple as much in their annual letter. He speculates that Warren Buffett will fully divest Apple, oh, because Apple is a bit becoming dinosaur already. It's losing its advantage. Ah. Like, like look at AI. Uh, Apple is not really making a play in AI, so it's like no no innovation. Oh. So people are losing uh, their confidence in, in uh, Apple. Then Warren Buffett also sold a bit of uh, Apple stock in their recent reporting. Uh, so if you don't, so Apple I, I don't like so much. I think Alphabet is where you want to bargain hunt. If it comes down lower, then Tesla is also coming down, but but Tesla I think will be below one hundred by the end of this year. Okay, so let me come back to the poll. One hundred and twenty votes. Okay, end of the poll. So let me see. What do you think of SG Reads? Sixty eight percent. Bao jia. Buy now. Thirty one percent. No. Worse yet to come. Yeah, I think so. One third of you all thinks that uh, Reads will still drop further. So we see how it goes. Oh. Uh, I, nobody can time the market. Uh. It, it might come down to 950 level. I don't know. It might drop another 5 or 10 percent. But it's not going to drop another 20 percent from here. Historically, he has never been, been, been so low. Uh. Historically, you can look at the. You drag out the chart even longer. Uh. Also, the, the historically, yeah. So you don't have the GFC, uh, Global Financial Crisis number. Uh. Yeah. So, so this is the, the lowest you can go is here already. I, I think that's. 950, 900 something. Uh. So the maximum downside, I would say, is 5 or 10 percent more downside uh, at, at worst case. Uh. But your upside uh, is the dividend and uh, rebound. Uh. Yeah. Shake, shake, I miss shake, shake, uh. shake, shake uh, the milkshake, wow. plus the fries and, and the, the burger. Wow. Shook. Wow. Send your Malaysia niece and nephew off after Swift. Oh, they come for the Taylor Swift concert. Uh. Oh yeah, oh, Malaysia don't have the Taylor Swift concert. Uh. All the other Asian countries don't have it. Uh. Only whole in Singapore. So all the Malaysian, uh, Indonesian, uh, uh, all have to come Singapore to watch the concert. That, that's why it boosts our, our tourism. So that's the effect. Yeah, yeah. I eat before she shake many times. I used to be an international traveler. I travel uh, Japan, US, Europe, uh, all around the country uh, to play the Magic the Gathering and Poker Tournament. Yeah. I used to fly like every month in the past when I was a professional card gamer. Yeah. Yeah, Capital DC I did cover la. They, they default. The, the China tender default. Yeah. Yeah, master own self earn, own self keep la. Yeah, one person can already. And in Alim, Capital DC was overhyped a few years ago when they were only the pure DC player in town. Now got ascenders and maple industrial shots also in the data center space. So more normalized. Yeah, that's also a good point la. Nowadays, the other industrial risk also uh, acquire a lot of data center to, to diversify. So, Capital DC read less attractive already. Call no dividend for, for two years. Call, like I say, can speculate if drop to 10 cents. No? But I don't know. Now, got 10 cents or not? I, I'll say 10 cents or below, then we'll consider. Never, la. it's not cheap yet. La. Yeah. Never drop. I, I don't, it's still very dangerous. La. Like, at the menu life and the prime rate can go bankrupt one. No joke, uh, no joke. The sun prime rate can, can go bankrupt one. You all be careful. Yeah, $1.82 for KDC, okay. Uh. KDC, by long term, I still okay. Uh. I still still very uh, so-called blue chip read. Uh. Okay, uh, GGML, can you say or do, what do you like without pleasing other? That, that's fire. Yeah, 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 fire. Like you are a worker, you cannot offend your boss, ma. Uh, I am my own boss, ma. I don't need to bow to anyone, ma. Uh, people scold me, I just block them all. I don't need the customer, ma. Yeah, more happy. I don't stream, la. No happy. Don't watch my YouTube, ah. F off, ah. <laughs> that kind of attitude, ah. That's why I happy, ma. I'm my own boss, ma. I got freedom, ma. That's why you can see every time I very happy, ma. Uh, I don't have to drag myself to work, ma. I volunteer, ma. Am I right? If I have to drag myself to work, then I don't stream, no. I don't stream more, I just go go and relax. I, I watch YouTube, watch show, I go and go outside eat food. Uh. So so I do YouTube is I, I I because I have the interest lah. I myself is the investor also. 
So it's not hard work lah. Although wah, people might say wah, master you so hard working ah, do forty over slides ah. For me is that uh, it's not hard work ah. But I myself, I like to research all these company to find bargains to invest. So while I doing my research, I see things that I want to take note. I copy and paste into my slide, lor. So I have one browser for my research. Another browser is this, uh, Google PowerPoint, Google Slides, ah. Then I just copy paste, copy paste, lor. So it's not very hard work, lor. So to me, it's easy work, lor. So that's why, lor. That's like you playing soccer, ah. That some people say, wow, soccer, wow, very hard, ah. 跑到很辛苦啊 ，then then you don't play soccer. Some people play soccer, wow, very fun, ah, score goal, ah. So is is that to me like a sport like that? Whether you like the sport or not, ah. If you don't like the sport, that's like you go jogging. Some people they don't like jogging. Then you go jogging to lose weight, ah, is torturous, ah. For me, I like hiking. I don't. I also don't like jogging. Every morning I go hiking. I walk only. I walk ten thousand steps. Ah, steps, ah. Also, also. You do something you like, lor. That then you your your attitude will be different, lor. Yeah, pincers, pincers. I want to fire badly. Oh no! But you still young, lah. Pincers, pincers. Nowadays everyone want to fire, lah. Ah, fire. Uh, eventually you will get there, lah. Everyone will fire one eventually. Cannot be you work until die one, mah. As long as you know how to invest, eventually you 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 will you will fire. Will it come early or late, right? It's see your luck one. Sometimes you buy the stock suddenly explode, really. And sometimes you buy the stock, you stuck for three four years. Stock market is not bao jia la. There's also there's a luck element also la. When your luck is good la, or everything also bao jia la. Need a bit of luck also la to 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 retire early la. Yeah. Or Ming Chin, you know ah, yeah. The management of Yowie Wee la and the Lipo Mall first week all is the same eh. Oh, example! Ah, I show you the chart lah of Lipo Mall, oh Lipo Mall with ah Yahoo Finance. You go and see. I show you, I show you three chart lah. Then you see you want to buy or not? Oh yeah. Oh, because you you ask me ah, you be with ah you you O U E we can buy or not lah? Oh, O U so the the one you want to buy is what O U E we right? If I never mistake ah, so you must look at the manager. So we start with first ah first week lah. Oh, first week is hospital week in Indonesia. Used to be one dollar over stock. Now it's twenty five cent. Drop seventy five percent of their value already. Oh, ah, Lipo Mall used to be what forty cent reads or what lah? Or used to be forty cent reads ah. Now it's one point four cent. This is shopping mall assets in Indonesia. Gone case, huh? So one is down ah seventy five percent. One is down ninety percent. Then you ask me, Master, O U E we can buy or not? Oh, used to be sixty cent read ah, now twenty six cent ah. Then I tell you, all three weeks ah is the same management. Is the is the Indonesia tycoon one. I forget the name already. I forget the the name already. Ah, I I don't remember the name is better because I'll never buy that read. I die also won't buy that that read one. Oh, is the the management no good? You you don't buy lor. Just like you chicken rice store right? You remember this chicken rice ah? What this brand? Every time you eat the chicken rice, you lao sai right? Then every time you see this brand ah, what X S S chicken rice ah? You see ah, you run far far. You know you eat this brand right ah, S S S chicken rice ah. You sure lao sai. Oh, so that's the thing ah. You you see before the first week and the lipo more weeks ah, lao sai ah. Then you see O U E weeks ah. Eh, it's the same owner ah. Wah, faster run away ah. Eat already sure lao sai. As simple as that ah. So you ask me can buy or not? I think cannot buy ah. I think eat already will will lao sai ah. As simple as that ah. It's the branding no. Certain management ah, you must avoid one. If it's The management is serve their own interest, not not serve you. Then then you you must avoid. Yeah. Whereas like capital, uh, let's say capital and the maple lah. So capital land and maple tree, right? What are they? They are actually government entity lah. They they the major shareholder is the mat the masik and GIC. I think GIC owns maple maple tree. Cap capital land the major shareholder is is the masik. If I'm not wrong. So for them, right? What they do is they hire external manager to professional managers to to manage. So there's a balance, ah. If they do well, they get bonus, and and we get rewarded with the dividend. Whereas like the first week, Lipo and O U E, right? It's so called family owned one. So in the Singapore market, a lot of these called family owned stocks, right? Or the family just want to make themselves rich. They they are not there to make shareholders rich. So you must understand that. Yeah, so I I try actually I try to avoid family owned stocks. Yeah, uh, unless the family proves that they can reward shareholder lah. Ah, 
像 example 啦 ，the the non rich company 啦，呃。Thai Beverage, Sing Song, and Kim Lee—they are all, all family-owned. But I think the business model is okay, and、uh, they do decently reward shareholders. So, so I have a buy call on them. So you must look at the management.、Uh, what is their track record? Yeah, Pixel、uh, want to fire as soon as possible. Pixel still very young lah. Give yourself uh ten years lah. Ah,、huh? backholder feel threatened by the ML knowledge. Why? No lah, different level lah. For for me, I'm a professional lah. Then I've been in this industry fifteen years already. Backholder, I think Bunty and Chicken they have the financial background mah. They they study finance one. Bunty work in the bank. Then Chicken is the economics and uh accounting degree. So so they do have the background lah. Uh uh. Then this the Kelvin and Eric that 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 drag down the backholder. Kelvin and 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 Eric, I think their knowledge of the market is lacking. Ah,、uh. yeah. So so so、uh, overall, that that strength is weak. Ah,、uh, because of that, lor.、Uh. So they must pursue a different direction. I think their recent talk with the Z Invest is is not bad. Ah,、uh. they should always bring a guest in to to have a talk. Ah,、uh, that that is where they can differentiate. Ah,、uh. if they do the market talk, ah,、uh, like, like what I'm doing, right? Ah,、uh, then that I think is to their disadvantage. Yeah. Market talk one, I say the Bunty channel lah. Oh, he he do like one hour deep dive that one. That that shows that he he got the market knowledge. But the backholder podcast they cannot do that direction, because as a group they don't have the enough knowledge to 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 do that. Yeah. So that's why when you do YouTube, you must know what is your what is your niche, what is your direction. You must focus on your niche. Ah, yeah. S C Huang, thanks for support. Nasim T, thanks for support. Yeah, must. Think long term lah, long term. Pixel Spencer slowly lah. Now you kill, you now you young ma, you young you you kill. You can hold ten twenty year, then you fire. Okay lah, must be patient lah. Yeah, call went up recently lah, but but the sampan reads, I don't think they are out of the woods yet lah. Especially for manual life read and the prime read lah. Yeah. Okay, wah, tired already. Nine thirty already. Master, chit chat a bit. Then then call shop already. Master tired already. Yeah, master is top hot one. Yeah, top hot one lah. Master top hot one. Yeah. Okay, I skip, skip, skip lah. Master tired already. Bernard Lim. Oh, many years I buy first read. Luckily, sold off after losing thirty percent. Yeah, once bitten twice shy lor. You cannot bite by 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 the by the dog one time ah. You avoid the dog already. Yeah. So some ah the dog 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 reads ah or underperform one. Then you must avoid oh the the manager. Yeah, Jasper Lim, O U E and Lipovitz, I siam kau we. Oh, that means run away. You you avoid ah、uh, strongly. Yeah, Aquarius once cannot come by first read. No more buy in Louis. Ah, <laughs> yo, oh, a lot of yo cannot burn eh. Walau, yo never know me any earlier. If you know me earlier, I will tell you to avoid all this so called sampan reads. Ah, that's why I keep warning yo. Avoid sampan reads. Only go for those with a strong sponsor. Well, present her with air freshener. What、wow, hint hint ah? You want to match princess princess with the Cash Eleven ah? Yeah, ML do some tunnels. It's weekend ah. Nowadays market a lot of opportunities, so I focus more on stock market. When the market is more quiet lah, nothing to cover ah. Then tunnels a bit ah. Wait wait the Mister Lu a bit ah. Wait the AK a bit ah. Wait the back holder podcast a bit. Nowadays, market a lot of things to talk about. So ah,、uh, when market more quiet, that then I go and tunnels other people.、Mm. Okay, WT same like Sing Song ah. What what thing ah? Sing Song actually the management pay themselves quite high also eh. The three brothers they pay themselves five million each ah. But just that because Sing Song the business is so good, it generates so much freaking cash ah. So the Brothers, they take fifteen million. That's about I think fifteen percent of of the profits ah, fifteen to twenty percent of their profit go to management. So I see it as a management fee lor. But but if the I I would be happy lah if the three limb brothers they 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 kick themselves out, they hire professional manager, pay the one million dollar salary lah. They hire one group group ah from from India can already, ah or 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 from China get a professional manager. Wow, then the the shareholder returns will will be amplified ah. Yeah, so family owned businesses. That's the problem. I don't like the SGX. Uh, the family owned business. Then the 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 management cannot perform. You cannot kick them out because they they hold more than fifty percent of the shares. Whereas in China companies, right, they are 无情 one. That means heartless one. You cannot perform. They fire you like Baba Daniel Zhang. 
the the past two three years the lockdown period you cannot perform them they kick Daniel Zhang out they put in Eddie Wu a young manager so I like the Chinese companies in that sense that they are not family owned you cannot perform they kick you out uh, so so sometimes you must also put a weightage on how you value the management also yeah normal normal Eric and Kelvin backholder <laughs> Then the, the recent uh, backholder, the pot, all of them, they are Tesla boo. Only chicken is not Tesla boo. <laughs> but now chicken mostly is best in the US market. Uh, he, uh, he's like, I don't think he's bullish on China market anymore. <laughs> yeah, we see uh, his video update how, I don't know. But can feel that uh, chicken now, same as Adam Ku, uh, they, they are all bullish on the US market. US market, most the SU YouTuber all is bullish on, on the US market. I think Kelvin Man investing recently, he said that US might go into a loss decade, put money into CPF. So I think sentiment starting to turn already. Uh, people being cautious on the US market. But US market to me, I still see it as a bubble. The oil podcast, Chermat Palivaratia, right? He said that Bitcoin might go to 100k. Wow, I'm surprised. Uh. So now people shouting Bitcoin 80k, 100k. Uh. For me, if me, I take money and run already, uh, I won't play already. Uh. Don't be the last one holding on to the Bitcoin. Good luck to you all. I don't know how Bitcoin will, will, will go. Yeah. Yeah. E kick. ML, I bought Lipo and first read before I know you. Oh no. If you know me earlier, I'll tell you all to avoid all these sampan reads. One. Investing got a lot of trap. I must learn to avoid the trap. Oi, OE, Master, PayPal still value buy. Still got more. PayPal is a value buy. So their mode is that they are still the market leader. They have like 50% market share. For, for fintech, right, the acquisition cost is very high. So fintech, a lot of them, they are heavily geared. La. Some of them, they will go bankrupt. It's the survival of the fitters. So usually, you have to be the top three, top four player. Then you will make money. And then the smaller players will, will, will die out. So PayPal is a value buyer. It's undervalued. La. Then they, they, the manager cannot perform. They already change management already. So you see, the new management can, can perform or not. La. So US companies also the same. La. Cannot perform, then, then they change the management already. Yeah, so that's all my sharing for, for this weekend. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoy. Enjoy this weekend special. Uh, all master tired already. Talk one hour, 40, 50 minutes already. Uh, Bitcoin touching 70k. Uh, it might go to 80 or 100k, I don't know. Uh. But once the bubble pop, it, it will drop very fast. Uh. So that's all my sharing. Take care all. Bye-bye. Good night.